they're all set and they're off and racing from the stalls. Love Reigns encouraged to move forward and draking well. Primrose Ridge in the red cap. All the time heads over to the far side in company with Grand Oak. A full step was taken uh, there by Omni Queen, who just stumbled slightly as they race in two groups. On the stand side, Primrose Ridge with Dramatized, tracked by Manhattan Jungle. They're being followed also on the near side by one more Ollie. Uh, near side as well for Lost Angel. Over on the far side, Love Reigns continues to lead there with Katie Content, Grand Oak. They're being tracked by uh, Yarsat as they make their way down with a couple of furlongs to go. All the time is also there as well with Funny Money Honey. Lady Tilbury on the far side. Love Reigns, Katie Content over on the far side with Yarsat. Dramatized coming into it. Maria Branwell trying to stay on as well in company with Malin C. It's now Dramatized who's moved to the front on the near side. Malin C over on the far side. Love Reigns and Maria Branwell. Dramatized leads the Queen Mary by over a length. Malin C in second place and just pushed out towards the line. Another for Danny Tato. Dramatized won the Queen Mary from Malin C, type for third. Maria Branwell love reigns behind these Miami girl. Uh, all at the far side in about sixth place, Olivia Moralda. And then behind those was Carmella. Dramatized has won comfortably the Queen Mary. It's a winning margin of possibly as much as a length and a half. And a third winner already of the meeting for Danny Tato. Carl Burke with the winner of the Queen Mary. Malin C was second, place for third. Drop of their heads, near side Maria Bramwell on that, may have just nudged out Love Reigns, and then we had the cavalry, with Katie Content just tracking home, Miami girl, Olivia Moralda, Funny Money, Honey Carmela, Lady Tilbury, all in that group. Omni Queen has finished mid-division, is the one that looked a little bit unlucky, she seemed to get hampered uh, quite early on. The Platinum Queen never showed with a chance all the way back to the likes of Lady Bino, one more Ollie, and all the time, but dramatised two out of two, made a favourable impression at her new market. She hung left in the closing stages that day, and she was straight and true here, and was a decisive winner of the Queen Mary. And Johnny, that's quite something. Danny Tudhope has just ridden three winners in a row at the Royal Meeting, and for this one, he didn't even leave his whip. No, listen, that's what happens in this place. When you get on a roll here, you think you're invincible. After winning two races yesterday, you know, he'd be high in confidence. This is his, probably one of his best rides of the week. He going through the gears here, he gives her a slap down the shoulder. But watch here, Ed, just as he's about to... Oh, watch, there it goes. Oh, my God. Worst thing that can happen in a big race like this. But thankfully, this filly has her head down. She's galloping really, really strong out to the line. Big, strong, glad Danny. So, you know, and of course, it, did, it didn't need it. Yeah, she, she lent really badly left-handed when she went down into the dip. And obviously, this kind of finish here, if you like, just a slight climb and then levelling off for the final furlong. She didn't have anything to sort of, any reason to lean left-handed. No, and Jason, she did a lot of the work on her own. Then the right side looked like all the pace, as you said, was on the right side. They were going fast over there, so she had to commit pretty early. But hey, she's a very, very nice filly. You'd love the way she gallops out to the line there. Danny is just, you know, he knows he has it in the bag here. He's just getting down for the photo. And that's it's like one of those great stats. You know, they talk about the golfers, don't they? And he's had, oh, he's had 27 consecutive pars because they run the next day, or that one game into the next. Danny, just a treble on the board, the one, two, three. That's what it means. <laughs> There's Steve Parkin. Remember, he pulled his car the last time he had a winner on ITV. He puts a lot into this game. He's just sold Clipper Logistics and he loves his Philly Dramatised. And Danny Tudhope is on some roll. He sure is. It's a hat-trick for Danny Tudhope here at Ascot on horse number three, Dramatised. And we're just having a chat to trainer Carl Bo. Did I just hear you say you dropped your stick? Yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. What happened? Um, you just went to spin it, you know, sometimes you lose it. And I dropped it, probably a furlong and a half out. No way. I only gave her one little smack and then... Ah, she's, she's obviously very, very, very good. Yeah. She's got so much talent, so much speed. I feel like I maybe went too soon as well. Um, she was getting a bit lonely in front. She's, she's unbelievable pick. She's yeah. good. Uh, uh, look, I know it goes without saying, she's just won a, a very high-profile race at Asker, but it, it is the world this filly's oyster, do you think, Danny? Yeah, absolutely, you know. You, two-year-old, you, your dream is to find a nice two-year-old cold filly this time of year. And, you know, Carl's been, you know, been great the last few years, but Clipper, we've got some lovely horses with him. Um, and again, we've got another star here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, look, the world's of oyster. Some week for you as well, well done, Danny. Thanks.
led up there by Lucy Brocklehurst. It looks absolutely thrilled on the right. What happens when you drop your whip? Do you get the mickey oh. taken out of you? Ed, when he goes into the weigh room, I'd say every jockey in the weigh room will put their stick on his peg. So when he comes in, there's about 50 whips outside. Or there's one there with a, a bit of tape on it that put, you know, like a pony club put around your wrist. So, listen, he won't mind now. The filly didn't need it. And, hey, I think she's a nice filly, Ed. I think she has a future. A future as a speedster, or could she go further? She has plenty of speed, but she looks to me like, this. she could be a Guinness filly, Ed. Really? Yeah, I like her. I think that Carl Burke deserves a, a pat on the back in his team because she was fairly lively down at the gate. She was on simmer, you know, one of those where you might just throw your race away, but uh, she's got all the gears. And Midland Park, who are here in force today, they'll be thrilled with the run of the second. Mainland C, um, uh, uh, you know, there, there was a, it's not like the yard, Michael Bell, to just throw one in like that to the daughter of Havana Gray. 100,000 as a two-year-old she was, has run a blinder. There's Carl Burke on the left there joining the party. He's having a tremendous season, as here's the welcome for his brilliant two-year-old filly, who's won the Queen Mary. In the Clipper Logistics colours of Steve Parkin, it's dramatised. Well done, Steve Park in there. Well done, Carl Burke, a family operation. There'll be some celebration. They know how to celebrate these guys and dramatise. One at five to two on the right there in the orange box. That's the tote return, the world pool in operation all week. And the Japanese will be watching with the big race to come later. Four pounds the return, which is effectively three to one. Mail and C, second for Midland Park at 28 to one. Maria Branwell was third at nine to one. The American horse, Love Reigns, finished fourth at 11 to four. Tarishi. With the winning trainer, Carl Burke, who first thing he did was admonish me for not mentioning her more this morning. And Carl, she has won, like obviously she deserved a very strong mention. She's a very, very good horse. Well, I've, I've probably been saying too much, but that's basically what I have been saying. You know, she's shown us that at home and a lot of natural speed. She, she lengthens and she keeps going, you know. She, I'm sure she'll stay six, although Danny just said there, keep her at five at the moment, but um, I'm sure she'll stay six. Uh, the way she races, would it be fair to say that she's still green? You know, the first win, obviously, she went in the dip and looked a little bit at sea, but here today, she's still... Danny didn't have the stick in the closing stages. She still looks like there's a lot to learn. There's still more to come from, I'm sure. I, I, I wouldn't blame the dip. I think it was just greenness being in front of uh, Newmarket. If you watch the last 100 yards, she actually was putting, jabbing on the brakes and Danny half went up her neck at Newmarket and yeah. she still clocked a very fast time. She's, she's grown, she's physically grown well over the last two months and uh, you know she's a very good filly. I'm delighted to get it job done. I've seen you talk about good horses. I've seen you talk about Lawrence, who obviously was a top-class filly. I get the same sense from you, and you could correct me here, but that you think we're talking about a horse that is going to go on season after season, potentially, certainly this season and next, and be very, very uh, competitive at the highest level. She's, she's definitely a Group 1 horse, ability-wise. Her head is, you know, she's a little bit of a diva, um, <laughs> but she was very good today. You know, I haven't spoke to the lads that was down at the start with her, but she looked very good today, and she took the prelims really well, so she's growing up, and fingers crossed. What will be next for her? We've spoke about the Mornay, and that's well, a, she'll certainly, um, yeah. we'll certainly consider that an easy, easy French 1,200 metres. Um, but, you know, those races at the end, the Lowther, obviously, at, New, at uh, York would be right up Steve's. Ali, so you know, there's lots of options. Where is Steve? Is he? I'm having the photo. I'm going to have a photo with him. Just going to have.